In Isna, we have the smallest temple we have in all over Egypt. Let's have a look inside how it looks. And you can see one of the kings is dancing. Oh, yeah. Very difficult to make it. You know why? Because here you see the figures coming out. Because you don't carve the figure itself, you dig and carve everything around it over there. Look at the lady here. Yeah, once we finish it, it will be fantastic once we finish it. I think they were being a bit optimistic to think that they could make one <laughs> that big and even move it. at the unfinished obelisk in Aswan <laughs> and apparently they couldn't use this mammoth thing because of the cracks in the middle of it so it was abandoned in ancient times uh, if it had been finished the guides just told us that it would have been the tallest obelisk in the world and he did tell us how tall it was but I forgot the name you see the marks on the side of the obelisk where people in ancient times were using wet wood tapped down between the stone to force the stone apart. I 
I remind you once more about the style of art you see here. It's very, very difficult to make it. They say this is the easiest way for ladies to give birth. Outside, what will catch your eye? The statue, they keep it inside. Right. So yeah, this yeah. why, the more you go inside, you see the floor is getting yeah. higher and the roof is getting lower. 80? Yes, yes. yes. token here. Then 23rd, the day. The day, 24th. 25th. Exactly. Yes. Here. Because they needed that to cut the this side of the body to take out all the internal organs for mummification. Is that that's not one prescription? This is yeah, for different diseases. That's different ones. Exactly. Come <laughs> out.